months and months of music, and we're gonna talk about how you can play a song called Hookah by Tyga. And we ended up cabling this on fourth fret to kind of match the recording. We'll walk through a couple things in reposition. And there is this really cool recurring uh, keyboard lick, actually. It gets, it gets varied through the tune, but I think this is a good way to kind of approach it. It's kind of open E, and then second on the G, third fret on the B, open E, and then first fret on the B, first fret on the B, open E, first fret on, on the high E. So we got open E, second on the G, third on the B, open E, first fret on the high E, first fret on the B, open E, first fret on the high E. So you're kind of going to E, A, D, E, F, C, E, F, E, A, D, E, F, C, E, F, and you can kind of throw in some basses to back that up. And if you wanted to, I'm doing this hybrid picking, kind of using my pick for bass and the fingers for the lick. So open A and open E at the same time, and then the two, three, O, and then open D with the first fret on the high E, and then the first fret on the B, open E, first fret on the high E. So I'm kind of throwing in an open A string, and then an open D string to the lick. So I'm going to be kind of cool to get a little two-part going on with that. Or you could back that with some chords, and you start on an A minor chord. You do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the G second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now around A minors in general, it can be cool to lift the first finger and make that an A sus 2, or you could add in the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended chord and kind of say some things around that. Or you may dig on lifting off the third finger and making it an A minor 7, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor 7. And for the D note, actually, you want to back that up with a D minor chord. I normally do that first finger on the high E first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the B third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord and it sounds really sad. Let me also think on lifting off the first finger, maybe a D sus 2, or you can add in the pinky on the high E third for D suspended and kind of say some things around it. Or you may want to dig on, on a D minor 7 by doing the first finger of the E and the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the G second fret. Kind of working that as a little jazzier kind of sound that way. So it might be kind of cool to kind of work that that way. And there's a couple different strumming options you may want to think about through the song. You could work kind of an A down count on each chord. A minor, D minor. Trump patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you have A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So try that through the progression. We have the A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor. note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is, is right now if you're tapping your foot at the beat, we're dividing that beat into two parts. One, two, one, two. And that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide it into four parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, 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 down. So all together, you got down. Instead of starting on an A minor chord, they're starting on a C sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, 
and you put the capo on fourth fret, and now your A minor is really a C sharp minor, and your D minor is really an F sharp minor. I think from the very beginning, you may want to kind of use that that intro lick, and that might be kind of a cool way to kind of kick off the tune. It's kind of working that. Oh, no. Or you could just kind of back that up with the chords with the downs. D minor, D minor, A minor, and I'm adding a little bit of right hand to make that a little sneaky. Or you could do the down, down, up, down, up. D minor, D minor, D minor. Or something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, down, kind of up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass, and on the B minor, you'd have the B for the bass. A minor, you may be digging on the 16th feel, and then you'd have the A minor. Strum along with Hookah by Tiger. So, good luck.